Good evening, board. Good evening, board. My name is Jeffrey Perrine. I'm here as a concerned citizen. I'm here as a person who lives in the community. I ran for office in this district. I had a lot of people who were concerned about the equity. Um, it's a really, really big deal. It's a big topic. A lot of people as parents are concerned. It's very vague, ambiguous. You see the language, the rhetoric is discussing, you know, anti-racist education. When you ask a person of color who can be racist, no one of color can be racist. So when I see anti-racist education, all I see is anti-white education. So we need to stop playing games. I'm not here to talk and play semantics with you guys. I'm a concerned citizen who gained almost 3,000 votes in the local community. I got votes based on my stances and my views. You might be a leftist extremist who wants to be funded by the gay queers of Sacramento. That's your choice. But I have just as much right to represent the Christians and the families that support two genders, marriage between a man and a woman, natural marriage, natural family, all of the above, okay? So this equity is just absolute trash. I went to the curriculums meeting last two weeks ago. It's just all anti-white, anti-Christian, anti-European crap. It is literally work of Marxists, cultural Marxists at that. They're communists and they're anti-white. And I'm gonna reiterate it at every meeting I have to come to. It doesn't matter how you label it as anti-racist, anti-whatever, pro-equity. Equity means we all get to the same place, whether that is in a crap hole, unable to read or write or do math, which is what it seems like you guys are happy about. 56% of kids can read, write, and do math? Wow, but 86 are walking out the door with a, with a high school diploma. Wow, they go work at the store and can't read or write or do math? What are you happy about? But you wanna talk about equity. You're gonna drag everyone down, make sure no one succeeds, so all of our children can't read, write, or do math? How about you start teaching children how to actually be human beings? Not worry about sex all day long, sexualizing our children. Stop grooming our children, you understand? We groom our kids at home to have our values and, and our morals and our mindset, and our beliefs. Thank you, board.